YouTube, what's going on, good people? This is DJ coming back at you again with another video. Today is January the 24th, 2019. And uh, I'm on my way to the mall in hopes of picking up the uh, Air Jordan 1s in the neutral gray and hyper crimson colorway. So I've been looking online and a lot of people seem to be on the fence about this particular sneaker. There are some who are looking to completely pass. And then there are others who are eager to get their hands on a pair. So um, we're going to just time lapse over to the mall. Hopefully if I get my size, I'll be back at you with another review. Peace. Get my makeup box, your car. What's going on YouTube? I am back with a review of the new Air Jordan 1 in the neutral gray and hyper crimson colorway. Now this sneaker came out about a week ago so I'm a little late reviewing it, but I've had some time to do my research and really sit with these to give you my honest opinion on this polarizing colorway. But before we get into the review, I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed thus far and I hope that you continue your support in helping this channel grow moving forward. And to my newcomers, my name is DJ and welcome to Soli Kicks TV. On this channel, I share my affinity with sneakers by providing you with detailed and informative reviews on new and old releases, showing you how they look on feet, and providing you with tutorials on how to restore your sneakers. If this content is something you find useful when making another purchase or taking care of sneakers you already own, please consider hitting that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's get into the shoe. So Nike and Jordan brand are back with the iconic Air Jordan 1 silhouette, which was designed by Peter Moore in the 1980s and has since then become a hot commodity within the sneaker culture. This is the first Air Jordan 1 to release in 2019, and I must say that they look much better in person. The uppers are made up of decent materials with gray suede decorating the front panel, back panel, and Nike swoosh, a faded hyper crimson suede decorating the ankle, and a black leather featured on the toe box and mid panel. You have a black nylon tongue with a vintage appearance made to look like the foam underneath the tongue has been exposed due to age, your OG air branding on the tongue tab, and that hyper crimson orange on the sock liner and insoles. The midsole is also made to give off a vintage look with its dingy off-white appearance completed with that neutral gray decorating the outsole. And last but not least, Special Projects 2019 Air Jordan 1 High OG is written on the lateral side of both sneakers. So for those of you who haven't had a chance to hold the Air Jordan Hyper Crimson in your hand yet or you haven't seen them in person, uh, I just want to go over the quality of the materials used on this sneaker real quick. Um, and in my opinion, they're not that bad. Let's start with the suede. So the uh, suede is very uh, thin. This has a very thin fiber content to it. So that means that if you take your hand or your finger and you rub it across the suede, you're not going to see too many uh, brushes or strokes within the suede like you would see on like a Raging Bull 5 or something like that. So um, it's just a very thin fiber content, but it's still nice, it still feels good. If I had to rate it out of 10, I'd probably give it a 7. Alright, moving on to the leather, a lot of you are probably wondering, well how premium is this leather? Is it super soft? Is it like the shattered backboards? And my answer to both questions is no, 
and no. However, the leather is okay. The texture of the leather is just different. It's just tumbled. And that's another thing that I want to get into as well. I don't get too excited when I hear tumbled leather because tumbled to me is just a texture, a feel. It's just a, it's just a look. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that the leather is awesome or bad. It's just a texture. So the leather on these, uh, is, like I said, it's not too bad. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. It does have a plastic feel to it still. Um, and the markings and the uh, wrinkles in the shoe look more manufactured to me than uh, natural imperfections that leather would have or, or get over time with wear. So um, it's not bad if I had to give it a score out of 10, I would say a six or a six and a half. Overall, I really like the color blocking on the shoe and it was executed very well. And even though this sneaker was highly slept on, I can see a lot of sneaker heads later on down the line really appreciating this colorway. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload new content. Until next time, peace.